Let's get to the news. Let's get to the news, everybody. Okay. I hate this chair so much. Okay, welcome to the Ice Cave. I hope you're all having an incredible day. As you know, the PS5 is coming soon and will be released next month, November 17th. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'll put that in the video. They posted a video earlier of the teardown of the PS5. So we get to see what exactly makes this thing tick. What makes it work? And as a systems administrator, I can tell you right now that this makes me super excited to see what is inside this beautiful machine to see how they engineered it, to see how all the parts interconnect together. And I'm really interested. And as a systems administrator, we will marvel together and we will enjoy the beauty of this console and where consoles have came in the past 10 years even i mean in the past 20 years consoles have came so far and now they're getting to the point that they are full-fledged pcs in fact and we'll get to this more in the video the ps5 and i believe the xbox series x is the same they both have ryzen zen 2 cpus eight cores 16 threads with a clock speed of 3.5 and that's not bad that is not bad at all in fact that's better than a lot of computer hardware for sure so let's 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 take a look at this teardown together i'm curious to see how everything looks how they put it together it's going to be really cool so let's take a look do not try this at home of course if you with your ps5 if you're looking to keep it for a long time, I don't recommend taking this thing apart on your own <laughs> just so you don't void your warranty. That would be horrible if you break something and you can't get one for months. So please do not do that on your own. Woo, PlayStation 5 teardown. I don't, have they done this in the past? I'm curious if they have. This is a PlayStation 5. Holy, cr that thing is massive. That's like a, that's like a mini ITX computer a full-fledged pc wow <laughs> it's so big it's definitely the largest console i've ever seen okay now i love that i love that they're including the type c port and they give you both it looks like they have some usb 3 on the back nice yeah so you'll get high speed usb ports probably a, a gigabit lan port Wow, the the entire backside of the of the PS5 is just an exhaust port. That's awesome. <laughs> the cooling on this thing has to be insane. Okay, he's what, guys? Can we talk about this stand for a minute? Is that necessary? You have to take a screw out of the stand for this to work. If you haven't seen it, go check out my Twitter. I retweeted a tweet from I think it was IGN. And it was just making fun of PlayStation and the stand that they have right now. And how you can just literally flip over the Xbox to put it on its side. <laughs> Why? This, it's so unnecessary. I mean, it's cool, I guess. It's it's nifty. It's nifty. We, we like nifty things, don't we? They can be removed by the users themselves. I'm assuming you can move them like to upgrade the SSD. Now, I'm curious as to how that's going to work. I know Xbox, they have a small little SSD that you can plug in the backside. So I'm wondering how SSD expansion is going to work on the PS5. I think by default, it comes with 850 gigs. And they're saying that it's only going to have 660 usable gigs of hard drive space. That's not that great. Wow. So yeah, look at the cooling on this. They really put a lot of effort into cooling this machine. Now, keep in mind, as you have basically a more powerful CPU, you have to have more cooling. It's going to produce more heat. So that's where all this cooling is going to come into play. This is a big factor, and it's very important in order to keep everything running safely without crashing. So it looks like they did a great job there. I would love to see this as like kind of like a PC but with it being a console, you know, it's never going to be completely modular since it's kind of proprietary, but I'm just happy to be able to change out the SSD. I hope, I hope that's a thing. I don't know if they've announced where exactly you can do that at. There's probably like an M.2 SSD is what I'm thinking. 
And with it being a Zen 2, it probably supports PCIe uh, 4.0. Wow. Okay, so it's, it has a 120 millimeter fan. Very nice. Yeah, that's that's basically a, a fan that you would put in your rig, your PC rig. Okay. Interesting. I haven't looked to see how big the power supply is. I'm thinking it's probably around 300 watts, 400, 300, th between between three and 400 watts, probably. Very nice. So this is something I'm super excited for. I have a UHD player to play my 4K Blu-ray collection. And now I can finally sell that and just use this as my 4K Blu-ray player. But this is awesome. The fact that they would include that finally. I wish they would have done it in one of the PS4 revisions, but they did it. So this is great that they're doing that now. Okay, so. Okay, it looks like he's going to take the motherboard out for us to look at. Very nice. Just seeing the progression from the original PlayStation 1. And I remember having it in my hands and being given it to me by my dad when he came home from work one day. And now the PS5 is out. Five iterations of PlayStations. And well over 20 years later. This is pretty crazy. I mean, this, this really is a PC. This is not, you know, your ordinary console. This this stacks up to, to PC. And the price range is really good. Between four and five hundred dollars is not bad at all. Oh, okay. So it's driven up to two point two three gigahertz. Okay, and it is a Zen too. They've installed eight G DDR six. Oh, okay, very nice. It's not bad. They have eight hundred. Yeah, they have eight hundred twenty five gigs of storage. And they have a custom SSD controller. So I haven't seen anything yet about how they're going to do expansion. It might just be done through like a, a you know, the USB-C. You can plug in a high speed SSD that's supported, perhaps. Okay, so we can kind of see how they're keeping it cool with the liquid metal. It looks like they spent a lot of time to do this. They, they must have came up with their own proprietary method to keep it cool within the Zen 2 architecture. So that's that's pretty nice. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at all that copper. <laughs> that's an awesome heat, heat sink for a, for a console. It's shaped. The shape and the airflow make it possible to achieve the same performance as a vapor chamber. Okay, wow. Oh yeah, and there's the, the PSU. Okay, and it's rated at 350 watts. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, that was the PS5 teardown. That was pretty sweet. I, I'm well surprised at what they decided to do with everything. It's cool to see the inner functionality of the unit, to see how, the decisions that they made by using a Zen 2 processor and all the cooling features that they have. It's pretty amazing how consoles have progressed since the original PS1, the original Xbox, Nintendo 64, and so many others before it. It's crazy that we're here and now we have almost a full-fledged PC. But hey, I want to thank you guys for stopping by the Ice Cave. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to also subscribe. And we will be posting videos frequently to keep you guys updated. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an incredible rest of your week. Take it easy.